Hi guys and welcome to the second lesson in the jazz course. So in this lesson we're going to learn about the keyboard. The keyboard as I say is a very important tool for visualizing really. We need to be able to do a couple of things and I'm all about multi-tier learning and multi-tier learning is all about um, most about learning styles really so how do you actually learn I know a lot of people can pick this stuff up they just hear it and go oh yeah brilliant I can hear this pattern I can hear that that's tone and semitone I can hear that that's got a minor seventh in that chord there but a lot of people aren't, aren't blessed like that and even if you are blessed like that you should still be able to visualize what you're actually doing so what works what's being used what can you hear all these things sort of help out so the keyboard is a big, a big deal, really, when it comes to sort of understanding and seeing what's going on. So here's the keyboard. We have many keys, and we have a pattern there. Can you see that we've got two black notes, three black and three black keys? So two black keys and three black keys. That goes all the way up and down the keyboard. Now we've got letters and notes just as we would have if we're playing saxophone and let's just take one note at the moment that is the note that's to the left of these two black keys here which is this one which is C they are all labeled for you so you can see what they are but the note that's to the left of the two black keys is always C so the keyboard we've got C D E F G A B and C again and then it repeats and goes all the way up the piano and down the piano. So if we're going to go backwards from C, we'd walk down C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C. Now what's really useful about this and one of the reasons I want to get you to do it is I can play multiple notes here and I can go right okay so what notes am I playing there? I've got a C, I missed one out in the middle and I've got an E. I've got an F there and I missed that one I'll play that one. And I've actually created a chord there and you can see exactly what's in that chord, what's contained in that C major chord. We'll come on to chords and things later on, so don't worry too much about that, but there's a C major chord. So, as we walk around, let's just do a bit of geography on this thing here. We've got an F, which is to the left of the three black keys. C, which is to the left of the two black keys. And we can find all the different Cs. Going up there, one at the top there, back down. So if you have access to a keyboard, I'd get it out and just have a little go and just see if you can find these notes as you go through. Um, so we're going up alphabetically, so remember you're walking up the piano alphabetically and coming down the piano alphabetically as well. Okay, so then we've got the black keys. The black keys. So these are our sharps or flats. So, you know, we've been talking through the jazz, through the um, sax, saxophone, we've been going G, G sharp with a little finger there, but G sharp was also called A flat. So we have what we call enharmonic equivalents. Well, the piano is full of those. So I could have C, and if I move to the next nearest key, the next nearest key, so don't skip it, not skipping out any keys, that'll take me to a sharp if I go up one. So C to C sharp. Then if I go up again, that takes me to D. But if I come down, I can think about that one as D flat. So if you remember from the chromatic scale that we've done on, over at the foundation course, the fundamental course, you'll know that that's C, C sharp, but when you're doing the descending part of the scale, you're going to go D, D flat. So C, C sharp, D, D flat. Now let's just go up, the, what we'll do is we'll do a chromatic scale on the keyboard, and as we're going up, we'll just say these notes together. So we've got C natural, upper, semi, um, upper key, and then we'll give away what's coming later now. There's a C, go up a step, takes us to C sharp, up a step, to D. What comes next? Up a semitone, then it again, D sharp, up a semitone, E, up a semitone, or a step. Up another step to F sharp, up another step to G, up another step to G sharp, up another step to A, up another step, A sharp, up another step to B, up another step to C. Okay, right then, so I've been mentioning this word, semitone. Now, a semitone is literally a step, a single step movement from any key to the next closest key. But also the next name to note, so, 
is an interval. It's what we call a minor second as well. If you've been working on intervals at all, you know it's minor second. But it's a semitone movement. And it always sounds the same. You think about it, it's the end of something. You know, it's a big cadence per moment. That's semitone. So a single step on the piano is called a semitone. So let's go back up to this C and walk down our chromatic scale again in semitones. So we have C at the top, down a semitone, takes us to B. Down a semitone, now we're going to come down in flats. B flat, which was the same as A sharp. So B flat, down a semitone, takes us to A. Down another semitone, A flat which is the same as G sharp. Down the semitone, G natural. Down the semitone, F sharp or G flat. G flat, one movement to the left. E, F sorry, down the semitone to E. Down the semitone to E flat. Down the semitone again to D natural. Down the semitone to D flat. And down the semitone again to C. So, if you weren't familiar with all of the notes on the saxophone, and especially if you're one of those players who avoids flats because you can never sort of work them out, well, hopefully this will help you big time. Get a picture of a keyboard up, you can even draw a picture of a piano, just draw two black keys and three black keys, and then draw lines coming down from them. You can draw yourself a really quick keyboard and just start labeling it. You'd be amazed how that really helps you just get your head around how, how this, um, how the keyboard is actually made up, how notes are actually um, separated as well. So hopefully that's going to help you with um, all of the notes across the sax as well. So that's going to be a really useful thing. So we need to know about tones and semitones because I'm going to refer to build chords in um, terms of tones and semitones. So a semitone is any key moving to the next nearest key. So for example, E to we could call that E to E sharp. So E sharp is actually the same as F natural. E sharp, going up to the next nearest key, because the sharp sign, or what does the sharp sign do? Well, it only raises, it raises the note a semitone, doesn't it? So the next nearest key from this E here, that's a white key, is actually another white key, which is that one. So E to F natural or E to E sharp. E sharp is the same as F natural. Let's go to another pair of white keys because you can see that there's a few points where there's two white keys adjacent to each other. So if we take this B here, now could you find B sharp? How would I get to B sharp? Well, a semitone is the next nearest possible key to us. So in this case, we've got this one here. So B sharp is the same as C natural. B sharp, C natural, okay? If we go the other way around and go, well, what about if I did flat? So what was if I wanted to play C flat? C flat. Well, that's the same as B natural. So C flat is the same as B natural. Okay, what about F flat? F, down the semitone. Flat. So F flat is the same note as E natural. Okay, so semitone movement, hopefully you're really happy with semitone movement. It's the next nearest step on a keyboard, as I say. Get a picture of a musictheory.net has a great keyboard, a it has a MIDI keyboard that you can use and just like play around with. Have a go at that. Have a go at literally just going, playing around with it and going, right, what's that note? What's that note? If you don't have access to one or an app, get an app on your iPhone. I'll try and put some links at the bottom here to the various apps and things that you could use if you've got a tablet or um, an Android phone or a smartphone or whatever to get actually messing around with keyboards. Get a keyboard app. Very, very useful. Just interesting to sort of work your way around the keyboard. Okay, so the next thing we need to know are tones. So if a semitone is the next nearest key, so C for example to C sharp, well a tone is going to be two of those, which makes sense. A tone is two keys, well a semitone, semi meaning half, well half of a tone, semitone, one key. So for example, what I'm going to do here is if I wanted to go up a tone from C, I would go miss the C out, the C sharp, this one here, and hit the D. So it'd be C, miss the C sharp, D. So I've gone up two steps or a leap if you want to think about it as missing a key. So then we've got, this is another tone up from D, going up, 
miss out this one here, because that'll just be a semitone, go up two keys, take me to this one. Now up a tone from E, it'd take me to miss this, miss this nearest key out and go up to this one. There you go, so it's, uh, there's my tone. Up a tone from this key, up a tone from F sharp. Well, we miss this one out because this is our next nearest. We move to G sharp. So F sharp to G sharp is a full tone. Now, it's one of those moments you'll be thinking, this is all very interesting, I'm sure, but how, why do I need to know this? Well, these intervals make up music. The distance between any two notes, either in a melody or up and down, so vertically played at the same time, this makes music. This is what makes music and creates music. So we need to learn these sounds. What is up a tone? Right, well, I'm listening to this tune that I want to work out and I'm sure that's, how far is that away? Oh, I don't know, because I've never done tones and semitones before. Actually, it's the tone, no, isn't it? Ba, 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 ba. Oh, it goes like that, I know that one. F sharp to G sharp, look at that, amazing. So it's really important that you get used to these sounds of tones and under start understanding what they are. Put a name to it, it makes a bit more sense. G sharp, up a tone, miss this key, takes you to A sharp. Up a tone from A sharp or B flat. There's the B, missed that one out, go to the next nearest, C. Okay, so we could recreate our C major scale. If you remember back to the how a major scale is built lesson, we said that a major scale is built in pattern of tones and semitones. That pattern is tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. Okay, so if I go up a tone from this, it takes me to D, Mr. Key. Up a tone again, up a semitone. Up a tone, up a tone, up a tone, and up a semitone. And then you do the same thing just in reverse, coming down. So that series and mixture of tones and semitones creates what we hear. It creates a tune, it creates a scale, it creates harmony. So it's very, very important that you understand all about tones and semitones. All right, guys, so I get some practice at this. Get hold of a keyboard, get hold of, you know, working out some notes, even scribble them down. Scribble down all of your notes in a line and then jump between each one, semitone. Oh, that'd be a tone. So you get used to this because in the next lesson, we're going to start talking about creating chords and how tones and semitones come into that. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next judge tutorial. See you then. Bye!